Let me show you some Urek, the, like they call them here. Good morning, everybody. I'm in Almaty, Kazakhstan today. I'm walking around the city and uh, I'm gonna start with the bazaar. Apparently, there's a nice bazaar in this uh, neighborhood. We're gonna discover it and then uh, take the bus and go to a river. Let's go. Well, we entered the bazaar. This is the Dastak Bazaar. As you can see, they're selling some uh, samsa, some food, meat, different types of... Oh, simit, bread. I love this. They have it in uh, everywhere in Istanbul. Well, bread here. You know, food, vegetables, things you need. Normal bazaar, covered market. Uh, this is like a, we call Korean national uh, salads. Yes. You can find like, kind, but this is only for local Koreans because in South Korea you can't find kind of stuff. Why we call Korean? Because uh, before in a Stalin time, so many Koreans come to Kazakhstan yes. from the South Korea, right? So they mean the church. So they uh, create own recipe, I guess. It's like a little bit different from real Korean, but it's still Korean for us because the Korean ethnicity is doing only. Okay. Nice yeah. Korean food in this place. Yeah. So, so can just you recognize the in, uh, You know Globus? Yeah. Globus, they would sell this and they would... Uh, no, this like it's uh, alga, right? This is like... Uh, alga. We call sea cabbage. I don't know in English. Sea, seaweed. From the sea. Yeah, right. Seaweed. Uh -huh. And some fish. This is really delicious. It's like a local fish. This is No fish. bones. Ah, nice. Yeah. No bone, no uh, spines. Yeah, a little bit spi spicy. And the Okay, yeah. very good. <laughs> okay, they're selling chicken here. Fruits. Oh, this is the fish market. Big fishes. Wow. Okay, let's continue. Hello, Tajikistan. Uzbekistan, oh nice. Yeah. Как дела? Как дела? Hello. Как зовут? Uh, Morocco? Morocco is nice. I was in Uzbekistan. Откуда uh, Uzbekistan? Samarkand. Samarkand, Registan. I was there. Samarkand. Красивый. Uh, next, I don't have a place. Next time. Thank you very much. Откуда? Как зовут? Ramzidin. Ramzidin. Nice to meet you, Ramzidin. Moi zavut Hakim. Hakim, Da. Okay. Goodbye. Thank you very much. It's a photo, then? Photo? Yes. Vlog. Vlogger, yeah, vlogger. YouTube. <laughs> I just got dropped off by the bus and uh, I arrived to my destination, the river. Very beautiful uh, river, you can uh, walk along the river and it's uh, snowing a little bit, check out the snow on the branches of the trees along the river. This place is a little bit uh, higher than the, the neighborhood where I am staying, so apparently this is why it's uh, snowing here. Wow, as you can see the leaves are covering the ground because it's uh, the fall, they've been fall falling from the trees, oh, check out the morals, the colors on this wall, green, blue, various colors, I like this place, <laughs> okay, let's continue the walk, by the way, this is not a river, I made a big mistake, this is a canal, why a canal, because it's uh, human made, not natural, so the people of uh, Kazakhstan have built this canal so that the citizens can enjoy a walk along the canal. This place feels like uh, Canada, but apparently it's more polluted. Another fact about Almaty. Almaty comes from Alma, which means in uh, Central Asian languages, apples. So in this place, the apples are really nice. And 
open up my umbrella because it's starting to snow. Seriously. Okay. to the lake this is the lake that's uh, like uh, like uh, I don't know feeding the the canal so the water is emerging from the lake and going to the canal I can see ducks oh that's beautiful with all these platforms like built around uh, this small it's not really a lake it's a pond people are doing some uh, exercise on the other platform see this guy stretching his leg let me uh, show you some Urek, the, like they call them here. So Urek, correct in the comments if I'm not pronouncing it well. Urek is ducks in Kazakh. As you can see, in this pond there are many ducks. I don't know if we, I, I have no food to feed them, unfortunately. But uh, people would give them some uh, bread, some grains, and uh, they would come. They would come to eat because they are hungry. <laughs> Hello, Urek. <laughs> okay, apparently this place is called uh, Terinkur. I don't know if I'm uh, pronouncing it right, but uh, tell me in the comments <laughs> If uh, some Kazakh people are watching this Yeah, don't hesitate to comment and correct all the mistakes that I'm making <laughs> about your your city Let's continue We reached the 1060 meters. Oh high altitude. We climbed like uh, 40 meters from the first point of the Back to this point so we climbed not that much but 40 meters <laughs> good enough <laughs> okay this is Terenkur we're walking along this canal apparently the first uh, apple trees were found in uh, in Almaty this is like the first place where uh, apples were uh, growing in the world so this is why this place is unique and uh, another fact is that Almaty was uh, also a stopover in the Silk Road caravans with camels coming from China would stop here and uh, this city had uh, many different names it was named uh, Verni during uh, the SSR era then they changed it into Alma-Ata and then Almaty which was like the original name of this place mentioned name why they know this because they found the coin from the Silk Road era and on the coin it was written Almaty uh, which is like a proof and a testimony that this place was called Almaty a long long time ago so this is the right name and apparently they changed from Almata to Almaty when the capital moved to Nur Sultan Astana this city was the capital of Kazakhstan but now they moved it to Nur Sultan now it's just a, a big city <laughs> I'm sorry I missed that pro probably all the all the spelling of the word so just just correct correct me in the comments feel free <laughs> the, apparently on this lion head people would come and rub the nose you see the color the color is changed here from gold to silver because uh, so many people come and rub it because uh, apparently it's uh, for good luck good omen I don't know Jean-Claude Lagman. It sounds like uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme. Are they trying to make a joke with the name of this restaurant? <laughs> Probably. Let's go. The cable car. Okay, this is uh, one of the landmarks of the city of Almaty and uh, also Kazakhstan. It's called Kazakhstan Hotel. It has been built in the 70s. Apparently, it was ordered by the president of Kazakhstan when uh, the country was part of the SSR in that time it was built by a Japanese uh, architect 
and the peculiarity of this place is uh, 26 floors it's very high for a building because uh, this place is prone to earthquakes so they wouldn't uh, dare build like very high buildings but uh, this one was like uh, a prowess and it's very high 26 uh, floors and still standing uh, from the 70s until uh, until now like uh, for almost 50 50 years still standing so there are uh, people here they are proud of this building because it has been uh, standing here unshakable withstanding all the earthquakes and uh, you know upheavals fitting every <laughs> this car is iconic in the city of Almaty. Anyways, <laughs> it's full. Apparently, it's made in Ukraine. Is in the city of Zaporizhia, and Zaporizhia has the. Oh, I have a cameraman now. So it's called uh, Zaporizhia after the city where it is manufactured. And you see, it's full of uh, fake, fake apples, not real apples. And the engine is not in the front; it's behind. Let's continue the walk. Let's continue the walk. So this is the statue of Abai, very famous uh, Kazakh writer and poet and uh, philosopher. And the boulevard in front of me, the boulevard that I'm facing is named after him. Okay, in this place we arrived uh, to what uh, locals call the Golden uh, Street, the Golden, the Golden Square, the Golden Neighborhood. Okay, I will tell you later why they call it Golden, but uh, just to put you in context. In front of me there's the International University of Business. And here the statue of Mikhail Tolibayev. And this street that I'm facing is named after him too. So let's walk, let's uh, wander around the Golden Square. By the way, I have some breaking news for you. The capital of Kazakhstan is not Nur Sultan anymore, but Astana. <laughs> so they went back to the previous name. So this place is like the old town of Almaty. It's like a downtown and uh, most buildings were built in the 40s and 60s, right? And uh, the people who are living here are like the people who are belonging to the elite, Kazakh elite, like officials, writers, scientists. And uh, here I'm in front of the house of Mokhtar Ozaev. Awazev. Awazev. So Awazev is like a, a play theater writer. And he wrote about the persona that we have seen uh, just before. Abai, well, still in the Golden uh, Square, and uh, here I'm in front of uh, the house of one of the presidents of Kazakhstan. He was living in the second floor. His name is Kunayev Din Muhammad. So he was ruling the country during uh, the SSR. Check out this car. This car used to be the car of the president uh, of Kazakhstan. You see how humble is this car? Uh, what I understood is that uh, it's a unique car. I don't even know the brand. It's called Pontiac. Grand Prix, it used to belong to the president. So he had, this is the only car he had. He was uh, like a very humble man and he didn't want like to spend too much money and you know, into a fancy thing. Very humble man, very good man. Still in uh, Golden Square and they have this park here. And uh, yeah, the most iconic, the landmark of this place is this Orthodox church. So one fact about Almaty is that uh, Almaty is built on an earthquake location and was hit by, the, by a big earthquake in 1911. All the buildings were destroyed and very few stayed intact and uh, still standing. One of them is this beautiful Orthodox church with this uh, onion shaped domes. I can see six domes but uh, one of the peculiarities of this place is that uh, the wooden uh, structures are made without nails, no nails. Beautiful, check out the colors, blue, red, yellow, green, wonderful. Okay, in front of the church, they planted these uh, trees, but who planted these trees? As you can uh, read on these plates, it's written in Russian, but uh, presidents of, uh, you know, countries that are uh, friend with Kazakhstan, were invited to Kazakhstan and were asked to plant these trees. So every president, like from China, from Kyrgyzstan, other countries from Central Asia, they would plant their own trees. And in front of the tree, you would have the name of the president and probably the country. So this is why this alley 
is called the uh, Business Alley. One funny fact about uh, this place is that uh, along this alley, as I told you, the presidents of different countries that are friends with Kazakhstan would plant their own tree. So you have the tree of Georgia, they have the tree of Ukraine. And uh, guess what's the highest one? The tallest tree here is the one from China, is the Chinese tree. And there is joke here. People would uh, joke and say, oh, the people uh, from the Chinese embassy would come here and put some like uh, secret uh, grains or seeds so that uh, their tree grows uh, faster and higher than the other trees but this is just a joke and uh, the fact is that yeah the Chinese tree is the tallest one in this alley let's continue the walk in Almaty uh, maybe they were maybe a Russian soldier right not only Russians not you know, only 1945 so. all Soviet Union well this is a memorial for the Kazakh people who died in the Second World War, when they were fighting uh, Nazi Germany, they were part of the SSR army. And what is written here, the translation of this, is that uh, they, were telling, they were telling the soldiers, we have no backup apart from Moscow, so you have uh, nothing to do but to fight. <laughs> this is like a good motivation for soldiers. So the thing about uh, this war, the Second World War, is that uh, SSR would send the troops from uh, the Soviet republics of Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, you know, Central Asia to the front and Russians would stay behind because uh, they wanted to be safe. <laughs> yeah, and this is a fact, unfortunately, for the people of this land. Check out the permanent flame as a tribute to people who died in the Second World War. In the distance you see 1720 is the Bolshevik Revolution and uh, what happened during this era is that uh, the Russian army killed many people put these cubes and on each cube they put uh, the city that was uh, assaulted by uh, the Russian army so you can see Moskova, Moscow, Leningrad, St. Petersburg, Kiev, what else? Minsk, Belarus, what is this? Volgograd, Smolensk Murmansk. Okay, we are approaching uh, the Green Bazaar. It's here. And I'm hungry. And they have some food in the bazaar. Okay, the entrance is not for food, it's for clothes. And then we have to go right for the food. Let's go. Thanks to God, this bazaar is covered because it's very cold outside. Cold for the North African. Ah, the heater. Check out the stalls, dried fruits, covered market. What they sell here? Fruits and vegetables, juice here. Okay, it's like real typical Central Asian market. Oh, this is uh, they have this in uh, Georgia. This is like uh, nuts, yeah, covered with the uh, sugar. They put add sugar. Ah, yeah, sugar. To the milk, yeah. And when they boil with the sugar, they turn to the brown color. Like a... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now, this is here for all Kazakh uh, delicate, delicates. Yeah. So different one. Halwa. Well, this is the place for clothes. And then we are uh, heading to uh, a Dungan restaurant. So uh, Dungan are these uh, Chinese uh, Muslims who fled uh, China in the late 1880s and came to Central Asia. And apparently their cuisine is really nice. So uh, hopefully you're gonna taste it here and see. <laughs> Give some uh, review on the Dungan cuisine. We entered the Dungan restaurant, but uh, unfortunately they don't serve uh, authentic What's the name? Ashland food. Ashland food, no Ashland food. So just like man, it's gonna be my, I don't know, 1000 like man I have eaten here. This is gonna be another like man in Central Asia. With a mushroom. With mushrooms. So let's wait for the like man and see you. Okay, let's, let's try this like man. I ate so many, but the, what's special about this one is that it's uh, with mushrooms. So I guess these are the mushrooms. This is mushroom. 
Sí, es neto. There's another thing about uh, Kazakhstan. It's the chocolate. And in this shop, they're selling different uh, kinds of chocolate. You have also like uh, special chocolates for, from Almaty, it's like postal cards from here. But the most famous one is the, the blue pack with the Kazakh flag. So you have this one, you have a smaller one, and you have the whole tablet with small chocolates. Apparently the company has been uh, purchased, acquired by uh, Korean. That's why you have uh, Korean brands, Korean chocolate brands, low tea. Okay, let's uh, buy a small one. So I get this one, <laughs> the small one. With the Kazakh flag. Rahat! Like this is like the national company that's doing uh, the chocolate. And uh, yeah, now is the time to try this. Okay, so I opened the pack and uh, yeah, let's try it. Mm -hmm. It's normal chocolate, very normal. <laughs> Nothing special in it apart from the packaging. Kazakh flag. Okay, let's go to the next uh, destination. Oh, this statue means Viera Nadezda Lupoy Luboyve e Safia. What's the meaning of this? What a nice place to finish the vlog. I mean, uh, an art gallery of uh, contemporary art. Check out the paintings. This is also the end of the vlog. I hope you like the video. If you haven't uh, subscribed, please subscribe, like the video, and then see you in the next video.